Hi, my name is Ivan and welcome to TNS. In this video, or better to say in this series of videos, I would like to show you how to get a mix from the ground up. In this session, uh, I have loaded a song that's called uh, What I Want and it's performed by Brew. Uh, you can find the session online, meaning the stems you can work on. I'll put the links down in the description. Now, there are a couple of things I did first, so this would go a bit faster. As you can see, I have all my drum tracks that are color-coded blue and they are going to their own bus. Uh, the same is with all other instruments, with the bass, with the guitars, with the keyboards, couple of groups of vocals. So I listen to the whole track once and I figure out what are the main parts. So in the upper corner you can see I have the intro, the verse, the chorus, the break and etc. So we can now try and figure out what tracks do we want to use, how do we want to use them. Uh, all faders are, are down, so we have no plugins, just the raw tracks here. So let's start and work this whole thing up. One place I like to start are of course the drums. Now we have a lot of uh, drum tracks, we have the kicks, the snares, the hi-hats, the toms, we have the drum room. And we have uh, even six pair of, uh, actually three pairs uh, of overhead mics. So let's try and start there. Let's bring up the overheads first. And I'm gonna bring the whole thing up from the chorus. So I'm gonna loop the chorus and we're gonna do our, our whole uh, balancing thing there. Because as you can see here in this red region, all of the tracks are playing. So if we can get a good balance there, uh, we can uh, figure out the rest of the mix from the chorus. Yeah, we'll kind of leave them for now at this level and we'll come back to them later because I don't want to get rid of any of these tracks because they all sound good and they bring something to the whole sound and we can see if we'll get rid of one of these two pairs because I want to keep this last two and I'll figure out what will be the best choice uh, for the rest of the song. Now let's try to bring out the drum room and incorporate the kick and the snare in that picture. Okay, let's say that's good for now. I didn't actually like this first kick track here because it brings out too, too much bottom and I'll try to see if we can fit it in a bit later on. Now all that's left is to bring out the hi-hat uh, and the toms. Now let's find a section where the toms are actually playing so we can figure out how to blend them in. Okay, here at the end of the instrumental section we have the tom fill that will kind of give us a perspective way to how to put these toms in.
Yeah, that sounds good for now. Now we're gonna leave the drums playing, but we're gonna bring in the bass tracks. as you can see we have three bass tracks here, we have a bass DI a, uh, and a two bass cab uh, that were mic with a different type of mic. So I'm gonna leave the DI and I'm gonna choose one of these two, let's go, let's check out how does this sound. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, this option here. So I'm gonna remove this track here because we don't actually need two uh, bass caps uh, here. Now for the guitars, we have uh, five different mic choices. Uh, it's all the same guitar take. And the last track here we have in the offer is the guitar room. So I would try and to choose two of these tracks and uh, the drum room because we can probably get some nice sense of space there. So let's blend in the guitar tracks. So yeah, I'm gonna leave out a couple of tracks here. I'm gonna leave the guitar room sound. I'm gonna get rid of these three. They do sound good, but I kinda don't need them here. Now let's just uh, bring in the keyboards. Yeah, that sounds good for now. Let's get right to the lead vocals. We have a couple of choices here too. We have uh, three uh, vocal takes, but three different mics. So let's listen how each and every one of them sounds on their own. Yeah, this first one sounds really great. Let's check out the second one. This one sounds great too. Let's check out the first one. I don't know, do we need three, do we need two? I think we need only one because it sounds so great. Let's check out the third one again. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. It just has a, a kind of sweet bite to it. Okay, let's check out the next part of the vocals, which are the vocals that are happening in the chorus. Let's check out the second mic. Oh yeah, the second one sounds great. I guess I choose the same one. That's a U47. And that's uh no, that's actually a C12. Well, let's go with that one. Now, the last thing I want to check are these uh, gang vocals. They are also two different type of mics, so Let's listen to how the first one sounds. I already panned them hard left and hard right. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's leave it like that for now. I'm gonna take these tracks number one and four and I'm gonna remove these two here. So I'm gonna choose tracks number one and four for the uh, gang vocals. Uh, let's listen to the whole thing. I think we got all the faders up. Okay, the drums are up, the bass is up, the guitars are up, the keyboards, and these sets of vocals. So let's check out how does the chorus here sounds. Cause the girls would Okay, it sounds fine for now. We can probably balance some more bass. I, can, I think the bass is a bit too powerful now. And that last set of gang vocals is a bit too much. Cause the girls would outlaw I stand outside in the rain Cause the girls would outlaw I'll take the physical pain Cause the girls would outlaw At the end of the day The girls would outlaw You see this world that we're living in Okay, I think that that sounds uh, decent for now. Uh, I will stop here because this is just a starting point that I like to work on the most. This was kind of rushed, but I hope you get the idea how you can start a mix and what things you should consider when trying to figure out, I don't know. We, have, we had multiple mic choices here, so we had to pick because these were mostly uh, the same thing was recorded with different mics, so it's the same take. We could have probably, uh, I don't know, slightly time shifted some of, the, some of those or, or apply some kind of uh, su subtle pitch shifting effects, so we can probably get more. But we'll, when we get to the mixing uh, of the vocals, uh, we will see how we'll be addressed that, because the takes here and the mics here sound really great. The drums are really nice and bright. The vocals some are warm and have a really cool bite to it. And the guitars are already roomy enough, so we probably won't have to apply too much of uh, crazy effects to them. Anyway, I will stop here. This is just a rough mix, and I will get back to this song in the next video. Thank you for watching and bye.